Reality CRM4. I pre-ordered this the day they made the announcement, and it's here. Let's get it open, get it set up, and run some test prints. Right off the bat, I love to see extra parts, always with the toolkits, like I don't have a million of them. Stickers, always good to see stickers. Super fat book here. Oh, that looks like a cleaning rod. I kind of like that. A whole spool of filament? Ah, just kidding. Still a decent amount. Our mount for our control here. Our spool mounts and a power cable. And another scraper. Under the next layer of styrofoam is the X gantry. So just something worth noting that I've seen here. I run a lot of Creality machines. It's kind of my thing. And normally the gantry carriage here only has three bolts and three wheels. This one has four. So let's see if that makes a difference. Also, it looks like it has the Sprite Pro extruder fresh out of the box, which I like. And I'll show you in a minute, but the cooling system looks a lot nicer here. Other than that, everything else looks pretty standard here. Now for the real fun part, to see if we can get this to fit here. It fits, barely, but it fits. Hitting the Z, or the, sorry, the Y limit switch there. Let's take a look, everything looks pretty cool. I'm assuming this is a toolbox. I assumed wrong, it's just bolted on there. I'm not sure how I like that it doesn't have SD. I thought I read somewhere that it did. Um, Maybe I'm just not seeing it, but we have Ethernet and another USB cable over here. This is where we're going to mount our control panel in a minute. USB-C, standard USB. I like the dual belt. I like the linear rails. Better filament plane. I don't know what that is. But all in all, looks good. Looks sturdy. This is some new motor that's supposed to be able to last forever. I kind of like the drive setup there as long as everything stays tight. I uh, really dig the linear rails. That was a big deciding factor here. But All right, let's finish getting this thing put together. All right, so all I've done here is plug in the wire. Um, I like how they have this set up a little bit better than the 3S1s where it pops out all the time like it is there. So I kind of like that setup. I like the little chains there. Cable management's nice, as you can tell on my other machines. That's something that uh, I'm not really great at. We have the X gantry bolts that go into the base and then into the uprights, just like every other machine. So there's those two bolts all tightened up. While I'm under here though, I just wanted to show you the linear rails. Um, so you see the metal bar there and then the bed slides on that. It's just a lot more accurate. Let's set this down. Than the traditional V slot rails that we normally see. Um, these are just fine, but when you have such a heavy bed and potentially heavy objects there, linear rails definitely should help. Next up, I've put on these braces. Because this machine is so tall, almost 18 inches on Z, these are gonna make sure that the top is sturdy while that big Sprite extruder is up there rattling around. And while we're talking about this Sprite extruder, like I said, it looks like the pro version that I've put on a couple of my other machines. But what I really like is that the fan is 3D printed. I love seeing 3D printed parts on my 3D printers. It just kind of proves the capabilities of the machine and the tech. Got the control mounted, spool holder, run out sensor, and wired in. I think we're ready to hook up the power. And apparently the power switch was already on because as soon as I plugged it on, plugged it into my APC here, we, uh, we got something. So let's try and level this bed. Gotta zoom out. Good thing this camera has uh, the half zoom feature. So next up I'm gonna level it, load it up with some filament, not the test filament, no offense Creality, just not my favorite. And I'm gonna run my calibration cat. But first I need to configure a slicer profile for this thing. So, got the USB flash drive in, gonna load on my calibration cat, and I noticed that CRM4 random file, 
I don't know, I, I almost don't want to unzip that. I mean, I'm going to, but I almost don't want to. All right, got the Calibration Cat program sliced, loaded, and ready to run. It looks like it's gonna level before the print. Gotta figure out how to make it not do that because that's gonna be an extreme time waster. So I'm using slicer settings from another Creality machine and in Cura, in my start code, I see the auto level code. So we're just gonna go and pull that out for the next one. Leveling done. Should be laying the first line right now. Looking good. I know a lot of unboxing videos probably have a little bit better lighting, better production value, but hopefully if you've watched to this point, it's been beneficial. Hit me in the comments, let me know what I should change or any questions you might have. Try and get a better angle to see if this is sticking. Not gonna happen, stay tuned. Kelly Cat is printing well. So I'm gonna go here and try and up the speeds a little bit. Let's do 120%. See what happens. I like all these little features, the fan speed. I can turn off the runout sensor if I know there's gonna be enough material. The auto leveling, the auto sleeve. A lot of cool stuff on this machine. Really, really digging it. Really excited to see some of the big stuff I print. The only thing I didn't like so far that I found um, is the nozzle is different. All of my nozzles are these same little brass nozzles. I have tons of them for all of my machines, uh, and this guy uses the M6 ones. So, meh, tiny little thing to have to deal with. And just like that, the first print, a Cali Cat fresh out of the box. Ended up cranking the speed up to 150X by the end. Nice and clean on the bottom. Eh, PLA, what can you do about the cooling there? That's what happens when you crank up the speed. All in all, I'm glad to add this to the fleet. Hopefully you all liked this video. If you're still here at this point, hit me in the comments with any question, comments, other stuff you'd like to see. Be sure to check me out on Facebook and Instagram. See you when I get the next one.